Hi, uh, my name is Jules. Uh, so what I'm going to talk about today is the eight steps. Um, the eight steps, to be honest with you, have made hundreds of people really successful in our industry. And because we work in a, a performance industry, there's part of a, uh, what we do is kind of the mentality side of what we do. So let me go through it. Okay, the first thing for me is being on time. Um, when I started in this business, uh, I didn't have any sales experience. Uh, I didn't have any uh, knowledge of the industry. But what I knew is um, they were uh, ready to provide me with a coaching and ready to provide me with some skills which I can learn in the morning. So I was actually kind of excited about that. But um, one of the habits I've built is um, um, if that topic or if that coach is going to tell me, you know what, Jules, you need to come at 1030. I'm going to teach you this and it's going to increase your income. I used to actually always come like 10, quarter past 10, uh, 10 minutes earlier, so I can actually be ready with a, note, a notebook, you know, a pen, and start writing and start, uh, you know, on the time because I wanted to actually be able to show to my coach that um, I'm ready to learn and I, I'm on time and I want to make sure that that person sees me as a good student. Does that make sense to you? So uh, that's the first thing. Being on time in office was really important for me. If you study in this industry, a lot of people really want to teach you and, and get your skills together and get your skills better. So be ready to actually give that at least uh, part of what you actually have to deliver. It's coming on time in those topics. If you're uh, being promoted to leadership, you really want to make sure that if there's a leaders meeting at 10.30 or 10 o'clock, whatever the case may be, that you're actually 10 minutes earlier ready to actually get into that meeting. So you can show to that person that's going to teach you, uh, that person's going to teach you how to increase your income or build your business, that you're actually ready to learn from that person, right? Uh, the first thing is being on time in office. The second thing is being on time in the field. As we all know, the more people you speak to, the more sales you do. So I always consider the more time I have in the field, it's logical, I would actually do more sales. So for me going in the field on time or actually being the first person in the field to start talking to the customer as soon as possible makes a big uh, difference to my income, okay? So that's the first thing. In any performance industry, being on time has uh, built good habits, okay? The second thing is being prepared. Now, as I said, uh, it's a performance industry. so. Uh, you need to be prepared on what we're actually uh, going to. So when you wake up in the morning, little habits, when I started in, the, uh, in this industry, I didn't have any experience in sales, uh, but I knew that I was going in the office in the morning to learn sales or to learn how to coach others. Uh, so simple thing, notebook, pen, prepared, ready to actually learn. So when I go in the office, I go with the learning uh, you know, mentality side. Uh, being prepared to go to the field. You know, I used to actually have my leader teaching me that the first thing you do when you come to the office, 10, 10 minutes earlier, prepare your merch, prepare your, 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 your equipment, whatever division you are into, okay? Uh, because that's the first thing, that's the, actually the tools you're going to uh, use in the field to make money. So um, uh, being prepared is, uh, is always being the habits I've built uh, in, 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 in this industry to be able to actually uh, control my income. And the good thing about it is when you're actually really prepared in what you actually do, uh, you can actually impact the income uh, drastically. Third thing, have a great attitude all day. Uh, for me, a lot of people think that having a great attitude is about smiling, being excited. Uh, um, it's nothing to do with that. Uh, being, having a great attitude is about what you think. Uh, what you think in every single situation. Um, I consider myself of being a very, very, very driven, uh, very excited to achieve the best, okay? Um, so I don't wake up in the morning to just fail. <laughs> no one does, okay? No one wake up in the morning, you know what, I'm going to have a, 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 a bad day today. So you have to set your mind into, um, uh, I'm ready to succeed today. I need to prepare myself to succeed and I know that I have to set my mind uh, that I'm going to succeed today, okay? Um, so, what you think on a day-to-day -day basis actually generally um, impact your, your performance. If you think you're the best, you're actually going to strive to be the best. Your work ethic will match your, your, your thoughts as well. So, it's really important to have that attitude, that positive attitude to what you do. You have the tools, you have the knowledge, you have the skills. 
Well, you're going to have some challenge along the way all throughout the day, customers' knows, customers' objections, but you need to actually have that in your mind, that you are ready for it, you've been prepared for it, you have the skill, you have to learn on time. Now, it's up to you to implement those skills and have a positive uh, you know, a mindset towards what you do. Uh, the fourth thing is safeguard your attitude. Now, we all know we work in a performance industry, we work with customers on a day-to-day -day basis, so um, a lot of things will happen. Um, a lot of things will happen uh, along the way, a lot of challenges, a lot of objections. Um, the way I look at it is, as, the sooner you know that's going to happen, and because you know it's going to happen, you have to train yourself to safeguard yourself from, from affecting your attitude. So let's say, let's say for example, it start raining. Obviously, I'm working in a residential campaign at the moment uh, in a solar panels division. Um, and it start raining and, and, and I have to talk to customers about, you know, having panels on their roof and they kind of, uh, 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 um, you know, weather raining and, and, and affects your 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 your, your clothes and your, your folder and everything and, and obviously your thoughts start changing at that time so what you have to do is you have to obviously safeguard your attitude with that customer when you speak to them uh, that is not going to affect your performance uh, i need to be ready to speak to the customers whatever weather i'm going to have today uh, one of the things also is people you work with uh, people you work with will not have the same level of ambitions uh, uh, that you have. The people you work with will not have the same drive or the same work ethic. Um, and it's very easy to actually kind of uh, let people pull you down. So what you have to do is you have to keep your mindset in your own goals, uh, your own uh, you know, uh, work ethic and your own you know, expectations. So it's really important to safeguard your attitude towards all your environment around you that can affect that, okay? Next thing, uh, work your territory. So, uh, as we work in a direct sales industry, um, what we're actually doing is supplying clients, uh, supplying customers with, uh, with, you know, to all our clients. And our clients' expectation is really simple. They want us to supply um, them with a lot of range of different customers. So, we have to supply them customers in a low demographic area, in a mid demographic area, and a high demographic area. Um, some clients want some more high demographic areas. Um, if you're working in different divisions, I had the pleasure to work in a division where uh, technical surveys have to do uh, have to be made on property. So obviously, the territory uh, uh, management is really important. But one of the things I always looked at is <clears throat> the more you actually learn the skills by being on time, okay, prepare yourself and learn the skills to actually uh, do sales. Well, we have sales every single place we go. Um, so being able to work your territory means you need to be able to know where you're going, what type of customers you're going to expect to meet that day, uh, what type of uh, challenges or objections those type of customers will give you that day, and also what you expect to answer. So it's always important, going back to the, the second one of the, uh, on the first one, is to prepare yourself to that. Because generally, you know exactly where you're going to go. Um, <clears throat> So for me, working the territory is really important in that sense. So you have to obviously prepare yourself and have the expectation, that great attitude, that there is potential sales everywhere you go. You know, this direct sales industry has been going on for 25 years and we still put our customer sales every single place we go. So it's really important you understand that there's no good or bad territory. It's just good and bad management or good and bad preparation for that territory, uh, according to me. Okay. The next thing, obviously work in a performance space. Again, uh, your effort determines your result. We all know that. We all have been recruited through that. You know, if you work hard, you can make loads of money. Uh, if you work hard, you can actually uh, perform really well. Uh, and if you work hard, you can actually gain a lot of skills and a lot of uh, self-development through that. But you have to put the effort because whatever you put in, you're going to get it out. And it's a very simple saying, uh, but sometimes people forget that the effort has to come first uh, to, in order for you to actually get the result you're expecting.